In this section, we shall refer to the case study related to the REACT project. The REACT project is a digital approach to qualifying technicians in energy efficiency in buildings. The theme is strategic partnership for vocational education and training. It is funded by the Erasmus Plus program and the duration is between September 2019 to August 2021. There are five partners coming from Croatia, Greece and Portugal. REACT project aims at the creation of the European efficiency in buildings technician qualifications, EQF, level four. Theoretical training will be delivered face-to-face -face and e-learning. EEEBT qualification will also feature work-based learning, which should represent the majority of the workload associated with the training. The project goals and target groups are the following. To contribute to the 2030 climate and energy targets through the equipment of EU citizens with a quality harmonized qualification on energy efficiency in buildings developed to be recognized through all the European Union. The target groups of the REACT project are workers currently working in the energy efficiency field who want to update or upgrade their qualification, workers in need to reskill and unemployed people. The REACT project regards the following targets. Creates a curriculum on energy efficiency in buildings, develop a summative assessment framework, build a virtual serious game as formative assessment tool, develop digital training materials of multiple formats, design a recognition of prior learning scheme and tools, set up a guideline for further exploitation of the qualifications materials developed. The expected re results are the following. Related to the curriculum, the curriculum includes the EEEBT professional profile and competence matrix. The qualification will be structured in four independent competence units, CUs, as follows. CU1 basics, of energy efficiency in buildings, CU2 technologies for energy efficiency, CU3 methodology for the application of audit measures, CU4 monitoring of energy efficiency actions. 20 single choice questions per CU will be developed as summative assessment framework regarding the CU's training materials which represent the theoretical summative assessment for the qualification. In addition, at least two other summative assessment tools will be developed, such as project assignments, two per CU each, and web quest, one per CU each. The digital training materials will be developed in different digital formats, ready to be uploaded on any e-learning platform. The recognition of prior learning scheme and tool will be designed through the project to enhance the RPL adaption to each national scenario throughout the European Union. The scheme will be ready for the incorporation of national educational agencies. A guideline comprising the order, timing, and other relevant information 
about the setting up of the digital training materials on an e-learning platform will be developed in order to facilitate the incorporation of this training course on that provider learning platform. Here you have a link where you will find a short presentation of the project. Finally, here is provided an email react.project.erasmus at gmail.com where you can contact us and ask any questions you would like to find an answer for. Finally, to see what you have learned from this small section on the React project, there is a question for you. What does it mean to be digitally competent? If your answer is being digitally competent, meaning using digital technology in a confident and safe way for various tasks, activities, such as work, job, shopping, healthcare information, then your answer is correct. If not, then please go and look through the slides and find the correct answer yourself. Thank you.